Hello, we're back. In episode 38, I said we'd be talking about the invader port to the Commodore 64. Again, this time in BASIC, using Vision BASIC and some assembly language. As an added bonus, I'll be showing a web-based C64 compiler called MoSpeed. In a moment, we'll take a look at my Commodore 64 setup, as Vision BASIC requires an REU, or RAM expansion unit, with at least 256K to work, but you can compile code to run on a stock Commodore 64. This is the Ultimate 2 Plus cartridge, and it can be used as a tape drive, multiple disk drives, just about any cartridge that can be used with a Commodore 64, and you can even print to it to a file that can be transferred to your PC for hard copy printing later. So as you can see, I have it plugged into the cartridge slot, and I'm using it as an REU, configured with 512K of RAM. I have it also plugged into the drive port and I'm using it as a disk drive as well. Okay, let's take a look at Sprite Editor first. That's the Sprite Editor for Vision Basic. And we're going to go ahead and use our Ultimate 2 Plus cart to run that. And you can hear the disc sounds coming from the ultimate 2 plus card speaker. Now the cool thing about Vision Basic and the Sprite Editor, editor is that you can create a bunch of sprites and save them as a single binary file and then load them up from that file in Vision Basic, much like you do in modern game development. Instead of having to put your sprites in a whole bunch of uh, data statements and read them in with a for next loop. So these are our choices. And we will be using um, high resolution for our sprites. So let's go ahead and run that. Okay, so there's our eight sprites. And uh, one thing we can do is we can actually move between them and move them around. And the reason why you might want to do that is if you were to create an overlap a couple of sprites for multicolor sprites you can also scale them on the x the y or both the x and the y as well and then you would save them out and i will show you how to open those up in vision basic and you make use of them in vision basic in just a moment Okay, now we'll take a look at Vision Basic. So let's uh, get a catalog of the disk. And there's Vision Basic right there. So we'll load that up. All right, looks like it finally loaded. We'll go ahead and run that. Okay, let's load up our invader code. And actually, let's take a look at it before we run it. This is what this is what our code looks like in Vision Basic. So there's it being compiled. And there it is. And it's not bad, it's fairly smooth. All 
I'm not sure why sometimes my um, collision detection does not work. It works pretty much all the time on the turret, but not all the time on when I hit the invader. So that's something I need to look into. See, there was a hit right there. And that went right through him. And there's a hit. So we'll go ahead and end this. And I'll restart with the F1 key. Anyhow, there it is in Vision Basic. So now, in order to create an executable that you can run on your Commodore 64 standalone, all you have to do is compile it with COMP, give it a name, and wait. takes less time to compile it than to save it to disk. Okay, now let's verify it's there. We'll check the directory. It should have, and there it is, invader with a dot vex extension. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn off our RAM expansion right here. So we're going to disable that to show that we can run this on an unexpanded Commodore 64. So now we'll go ahead and reset. We'll get a directory. Go ahead and load that up. And there we go. Now we're going to do a listing, and you'll see that it just shows Vision Basic 1.0. And when we go to run it, there it is. I'm going to let that end, restart it with F1. I almost forgot, I said I was going to show how the uh, sprites could be loaded in, um, in basic. So here, here's the load um, command right here. We're basically, we're loading up all eight of our sprites in one shot and we're placing them at this memory location. So another thing to note here is that Vision Basic will also work on the C64 and in the Vice emulator, as both of these solutions also have the ability to emulate an REU unit attached to them. So this is the most speed web-based compiler for Commodore64.prg files. First, let's run this version of Invader for the Commodore 64 that was written in Basic and you'll see just how pathetically slow this is. As we've seen before, and there I'm firing. This is pretty dismal. So we'll go ahead and stop that. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and grab that file from this web-based compiler. And that it's sitting on my desktop and it's called Invader. There we go. And now we'll hit the compile button. And it's going to give us this file here with the plus plus in front of it. 
So we'll go ahead and grab that and drop it on vice and watch how much faster this is. This is actually playable now. So you could write your programs in basic and just drag and drop them onto this web page and compile them. So next episode, I will be showing a port of Invader to the Commodore 64 again, this time in C using the CC6560502 C compiler and Visual Studio Code for my editor. That about wraps up episode 39 of my journey in game programming. Please like and subscribe and leave any comments or suggestions you may have that could make these a better experience. Until then, bye. I'll talk to you next time.